1 Thessalonians 5 and verse 18, Paul says, In everything give thanks. This is the will of God. You know, giving thanks infuses joy and resilience into your daily life. British theologian John Henry Jowett said, Every virtue divorced from thankfulness is maimed and limps along the spiritual road. Without gratitude, your faith becomes a hollow religious practice and your love for others crashes and burns, leaving you feeling drained of joy and acting like a martyr. When Paul says, in everything give thanks because this is the will of God, he's not saying every circumstance that you encounter is necessarily God's will. Pastor Jack Hayford observed, in every insurance policy is this provision, except it be an act of God. And culturally defined, they're the worst things that can happen. I've heard people interpret it, well, whatever happens is the will of God. So give thanks and praise God. Well, the Bible doesn't say everything is God designed. It says in it, through it, and beyond it, he can work for good. The will of God in Christ is that we give thanks and praise to God in the middle of it. Why is that? Well, because we feel good. No, but because praying without ceasing introduces a song of praise into our situation. Muddling and praying our way through the best we can, we can do isn't going to be good enough. Whereas the best that he can make of it will be some, something that will bring, well, the reason, and that's the reason the Bible tells us that in everything we give thanks. So here's the bottom line for you today. In any given set of circumstances, you can choose to whine or you can choose to worship, and you can't worship without giving thanks. So no matter what the circumstances that you're facing, give thanks. But it doesn't mean that God has produced those circumstances for his will, but certainly wants to use them for his glory. I'm Ray Jones, and that's another hard truth for your day.